No, don't throw a rake at me as well. Jeez. Jack, it's Denzel's grandson. Oh, hello, my bird. What the hell are you doing here? I thought you was in bloody prison. Well, yeah, it's, it's just a misunderstanding. Uh, I should never have went to prison. Oh, I tell you what. I tell you something for nothing. You're that first bloody pen birthday that ever did anything criminal. I never known anyone in your family to ever go bloody prison. Your nan and granddad would be so bloody disappointed in you. Well, I, like I just said, it, it was just a, a mistake. Uh, st someone stole my identity, took out a lot of money, and then tried to do a runner with it. It was nothing to do with me. Oh, I bloody knew it. I didn't have any doubts over you, to be honest. Anyway, I knew no bloody pen birthdays would be going prison. Cool. Well, I hope you're going to get some bloody compensation after it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I've got, I got bigger things to worry about, first of all, if I'm honest with you. So, you know, <laughs> you probably know. I'm sure it's gone around, but the place is destroyed. Um, it, it's kind of burnt to the ground. I don't know what's happened. Yeah, you know, boy. They bloody said it was an electrical fault. They said that something went wrong in that house, but I don't believe it. Your nan ain't lived there for a couple of years. No bloody trouble before then. Yeah, I did think that was quite strange, if I'm honest with you, because I went to see the house just for kind of old times' sake when I came over for the funeral before, obviously, you know, I got arrested in the evening, but there was no electrics on in that house. You know, everything looked pretty good, to be honest. It just looked a little bit overgrown, but there was nothing wrong with it. So I, I, I kind of find it really odd that just after she's passed something like that has happened yeah something ain't right there my boy something won't bloody right with that anyway what are you doing here anyway i suppose you come here for your bloody goats already goats <laughs> no i haven't come for any goats i've come to say hello why have i got some goats oh yeah when your granddad passed you had loads of animals there on that farm and when your nan went into that home, she said to me, can I look after them for her? And if you ever bloody returns, make sure I give you a couple back. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, I mean, I didn't expect that, but I hope you don't mind. You know, I've literally just come back, as I said, and there isn't really anywhere suitable for them yet. I wouldn't have a clue where I'm going to put them. Um, so maybe just give us a, a few days just to try and get ourselves sorted, if that's all right. Yeah, no worries, me handsome. Where are you bloody staying, anyway? Wow, I, uh, I picked up a caravan. I feel like I've been a bit knocked off, if I'm honest, though. This is quite expensive. I paid eight and a half grand for it. I mean, it's nice. It's a new caravan. It's quite clean. But, I mean, it's eight and a half grand that I wasn't expecting to spend, to be honest. I thought I'd be unlocking the front door of the Nan's old house. Cool. Well, how did you pick up that caravan? That does sound expensive there, boy. 
Oh, I don't know. There was uh, a place down the road. It was a bit of a like a caravan site. An uh, Irish guy called Big John. Oh, yeah. I know Big John. I tell you what, boy. I tell you something for nothing. You better be bloody careful dealing with those slot. Yeah, I mean, I, I got a bit suspicious, if I'm honest with you, because he told me not to drive the caravan on the main road, and then the main road was the only way I knew, and I subsequently got pulled over straight after. Um, but, you know, the police officer was right, but, yeah, so, something wasn't right about that. Yeah, probably bloody stolen, that was, I expect, boy. Bloody stolen. I tell you what, though, boy. Your bloody granddad had some dealings with them. Back along. You better watch them. I don't know what it was. I think they kept saying that he owed them money. Hmm. You just be careful. You watch them. Wouldn't surprise me if they try and steal that bloody caravan back off you. You didn't tell him where he lived, did he? No, no, I didn't say. He did ask, though, which I thought was a bit weird. Um, I thought it was strange. Why is he asking me where I live? But no, I didn't. I just said I'm not really sure. I'm just up the road somewhere. Oh, good. Wow. Good job you didn't say what farm you're at, because if he knew that you were uh, the grandson of Denzel, he'd probably be after you, trying to claim his bloody debt back that he seems to have made up. Oh, Christ. Well, it's already taken eight and a half grand of my money. I'm already starting to run low, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm going to have to be <laughs> really careful then. Hopefully he didn't follow me back. Yeah, you'll be alright, my bird. Just be careful with them. All right, ideal. Thank you very much. So yeah, anyway, I'm just here. I just just wanted to come say hello. I've only been back since this morning. Um, you know, I thought I've grown up quite a bit since the days I used to come and visit. But I thought it would be polite of me to come and say hello. So uh, you don't mind if I just have a little look around? Looks like you've got loads of animals. Yeah, you carry on, my handsome. You carry on. Ah, oh, lovely. Well, I'll, um, I'm guessing the goats are over there. So any particular goats there that are mine, by the way? Well, what happened was, when your granddad passed away, your nan, she struggled, bless her old soul. She struggled to keep them animals well, so when I first picked them up, they weren't bloody good. So I did my best, but unfortunately, I think only one of them's left, to be honest with you. But I have had some babies, well not me literally, of course, my boy, but them bloody goats have had some babies, so... What you can do if you want, when you're ready, come, come pick a couple, take a couple of little babies, raise them up from new. They'll be like your own personal little animals. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, that sounds really good. Well, I mean, yeah, if you're alright, just, just give me uh, give me a few days. I mean, probably a few months, to be honest. But give me a bit of time to get something sorted out. I'll have to try and think of somewhere I'm going to put them. But, yeah, I'm definitely keen for that, you know. I'll, I'll take a couple of babies. Uh, it's a couple of young'uns, and uh, I'll raise them up. That'll be good. Thank you very much. You know they got an old bloody goat place there still. I'm pretty sure that place is still standing, you know. That's where they used to keep them. Yeah, I, I think I've seen them, but there's a couple of fallen trees on it, so I don't know what the state of the roof's going to be like. Uh, I might have to do a few repairs. I couldn't even open the... Um, the actual hinge, that it's all seized up. I couldn't even open the doors to actually get into it to see what was inside. I tell you what, actually, while, while we're here chatting, I was I was kind of hoping that my granddad's old Zeta would have been there, but all there seems to be is an old Massey, which is kind of, well, I mean, the wheels come off of it. It looks like it's got some sort of damage, but also the back of it now is quite burnt from, from the flames from the building, I'm assuming. But, uh, but inside of it, there's an old tractor, now, I don't think it looked like Gandalf's Obsita, from what I can remember, but it does look like what you got over here. Oh, yeah. Me and your bloody granddad bought one each, we did, at a farm auction. Absolute rubbish they are. Never ran from day one. I think you put it in that top shed, didn't you? Up at the top there by the house. Yeah, that's the one. Well, that, that's the one that got burnt out. Yeah, waste of time anyway, boy. I'd bloody pay someone to scrap it if I was you. Just taking up space. Oh, okay. Doesn't really explain where Zeta went, though. Maybe he sold it. I tell you something for nothing, my boy. He would never bloody sell that tractor. 
That's one of the only things he brought with him from Cornwall when we first come over here. Ain't no one going to take that away from him. It'll be there somewhere, boy. It'll still be there somewhere. You just need to have a better look. Well, I've had a good look around, to be honest with you. And like I said, other than this tractor and the, the Massey there, which both, to be honest, look like they're destined for scrap, I couldn't see anything. He used to keep all his tractors down by that sheep barn, you know. He, that, that's where they were. You get them bloody trees cut down. And then have a look. Have a proper look around there. I bet he's there somewhere. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll pick up a chainsaw on the way back. No, you don't need to pick up a chainsaw, boy. There's one over there, look, in the corner. You see him? Oh, yeah, I see it over there. That black one. Yeah, you can borrow that, boy. Take as long as you want. I bloody bought it brand new. Never even used him. Just bloody sat there, that is. Oh, well, I mean, if, as long as you don't mind me using something that's brand new. Yeah, Christ. Get some use out of it. Okay. No worries. Well, look, I'm, I'm going to have a little wander around then, if that's alright. I won't be long. I'm not going to go sleeping or anything. I just want to have a look at some of your animals. I'm just quite excited to be back, kind of somewhere more familiar and, and talk to someone a bit friendlier than some of the blokes that were in that prison. Yeah, my handsome, you have a good look around. I tell you what, my bird, you do us a favour, can he? Up the bloody top there, and when you walk up that long road, over in that direction over there, I left one of my tractors, it's, it's my main tractor, but I just walked down here so bloody quickly because i seen someone here snooping around. And I'm a bit old now, boy. I can't be doing walking back up there again. You walk up there. Keys are still in there. You bring it back down for me. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, where do you want me to park it? Just anywhere. Yeah, there's a shed round the back, my boy. There's another little tractor in there. Just park him up somewhere next to there. Yep, no worries. I'll see you in a moment. Oh, there we go. So, uh... Apart from having stones, pieces of wood, and a bloody garden rake thrown at us, we're uh, we're all right. We managed to dodge them all, so at least our reactions are still pretty good, I guess, as we're getting older. But yeah, he's a nice old guy, really. I, I can understand he was a little bit funny then, because there's someone random walking around his farm. As he's got closer, he's kind of realised it was me, and he thought I was just a criminal. So he obviously wasn't too keen on having me around here, but he seems all right now. He uh, changed his tune from being upset with me going to prison to saying he didn't doubt me very, very quickly, though. Right, let's go in here and have a little look. So, this is uh, interesting. Let's shut that gate behind us, because I don't want our new, uh, our new little uh, young'uns to run away. But let's have a look. So, this seems to be a bit of a mixture, but certainly sounds like I could hear some... Yeah, that's definitely... Oh, there they are, look. There's definitely some goats in here. Another little sheep. So we can uh, we can take our pick. I mean, that's great. I'm guessing we want to go for the smallest, the absolute smallest ones. You look it's pretty cool. Well, it gives us something to do anyway, so rather than just constantly spending money out, at least we can uh, fix up an area potentially and, and get a couple of these boys. That would be pretty good. Gives us something to aim to. Right, let's have a little wander around the rest of his yard a minute. You did say have a good look around. I don't want to snoop, but I'm just quite interested in what, what he's up to these days, to be honest. He looks like he's getting on a bit. Just push that back. Right, let's head over here. These look quite impressive. Look at the size of them. I'm assuming these are like beef cows. Yeah, they're definitely males. I'm pretty sure 
I mean, Nana Grandad used to have some beef cows as well at one point, but I can't seem to remember. I mean, I don't know whether we'd have kept them, to be honest, actually, because the, uh, the overgrown field doesn't look like it would be big enough. Although, we do need to get on and clean that up, because maybe it's bigger than what we think. It's got some random equipment here. What on earth is going on with that? It's got some random bits here. Oh, that looks a bit like one of those trucks that I was driving before uh, when we were in Poland. I quite liked that. Alright, what else have we got around here? Oh, just a random little yard and fields down there. Right, so where is he talking about? It must be up here. So there's more animals up here which is good because we do want to have a quick look at what else he's got. Uh, but also bring the tractor back with us so we'll uh, keep our eyes open. Well that must be the tractor. Well used. Bit dirty. No problem. We'll take that back down with us in a moment. Now while we're here, let's just unclip this fence. Yeah, looks like they've got a lot of calves in here. Right, and hit that. Let's go in and have a look. Yeah, a lot of calves in here. I didn't see any females though, so I'm assuming he just buys these in, buys them in bulk. I mean, there's, there's loads. There must be 30 of them in here. Anyway, wow. I don't think we're going to be ready for cows anytime soon, but you must know a supplier or you might even sell us some of those when we are eventually ready. Let's just uh, close this back up again a moment. Brilliant. And we'll just hop into this tractor. Keys are in the ignition, like he said. Alright, let's take this on back for him. Oh, this is a bumpy track. Alright, so we're pretty much done. We, we've done our our business I guess, I just wanted to kind of reacquaint myself with him and, and say hello uh, hopefully that's the start of kind of getting some of this village to to have a little bit of trust in us anyway um, although it doesn't sound like we want Big John to have too much trust in us so we'll have to uh, avoid that for a minute, we'll try not to pass that road too often now where did he say to go? around the back somewhere um, I'm assuming Let's go on the road. Must be some sort of silo or something in there. So, in here maybe? Ah, that must be the shed there. There is another little tractor there. Now, have I got room to turn around in the shed? Yeah, I reckon so. Look at that. That's a bit of a beast. I don't know what it is. Looks a bit like a Ford at first glance, but I've not seen one with wheels like that before. Right spin around here and that'll do brilliant there we go well it's a nice little favour done a favour for a favour he's going to let us borrow his nice new chainsaw which is brilliant. So let's uh, pop back around here then. Just go say goodbye. Take some bits. Go say bye to him. Yeah, these are definitely some sort of silo. Obviously, just uses these for all of his grass that he does. It certainly doesn't look like he does any arable around here. It's just completely surrounded in grass fields. Um, right, we'll just head through here. Close that right up behind us. Good. Now, where is he? We'll come back and get that chainsaw in a moment. Oh, there he is. All done. I've just popped it back in the shed like you asked me to. Yeah, no worries, my handsome. I heard you bring that tractor back down there. I just heard it park up in that shed there anyway. So, thank you very much for that. 
it is hard for me, you know, my boy. Really getting on a bit, I am. Yeah, no worries. Look, you know, if you, if you need any little favours like that, then I'm more than happy to come up and help you anyway. Uh, all I'm going to be doing for the near future is tidying and clearing, so it might be nice to do something different for a change. Um, but anyway, look, I, I probably need to make a move now. Still stayed uh, surprisingly bright, to be honest with you, but I want to get home, and I'm quite excited, actually, to see if that Zeta's in that shed. So I want to get those trees chopped down and moved out of the way and at least just get the shed open before it gets too dark. Yeah, no worries, my bird. Here, I'll tell you what, while you're here, though, Come pop in and have a beer. I can't have a beer. No, I've still got to drive back and it, it's it's still afternoon, really. I don't want to drive back after drinking. Oh, don't be so bloody silly. Just just have a can of lager. That's all you got to have. Well, look, I'll have a cup of tea. Um, or even, I'm happy with a glass of water, to be honest. That would do. Glass of bloody water? That stuff belongs under bridges. Ain't bloody having any water in my house, boy. You have half a can. Just have half a can. Come on. Alright, okay. Let's go. Here, you see my bloody wellies there, if you boy? Yeah, I did. Uh, I noticed them, actually, when I was knocking on your door when I first got here. Yeah. Some bloody pair they are. Tell you what, though. Forty bloody quid. I'm too afraid to bloody wear them. I don't want to get them dirty. <laughs> yeah, I probably would be too. Well, there we go. Afghan. We get away with Afghan. I'm not really keen on drinking too much during the day, to be honest with you, but typical old Cornish boy. <laughs> it's just just like my nan. Water belongs under bridges. She used to say that all the time. Anyway, let's grab this chainsaw, load it up into the boot, and we'll uh, head on back to get these trees chopped down. I'm quite excited, you know. I'm glad that that thing that we found burnt out isn't actually the Zeta. Um, but, where is it? That's the mystery. Right, let's grab this. Okay, right, we'll just pop that down here. I'll just uh, open up the boot a minute with me left hand. Right, just chuck that in. Well, not literally chuck, he might be watching. Yeah, he is over there, look. I don't know if it's an old thing, my nan and granda used to do the same, just stand there and stare at you and wait just so that they can wave you goodbye on the way past. Bless him. Bless his old soul, as he would say. Right, let's just uh, shut the boot up and we'll get in the car. Okay, let's make our way back. Alright, we have got to clean this. We've got to clean this. I wonder if... Um, We'll have to have a bit of a scout around the house at some point and see if there is like a, an outdoor tap or something. Because um, it must have been connected to the water at some point, so we can have our own supply there. We're going to need it if we get some goats. I'll oh, just pop me head out the window, say bye. See you later! Yeah, I'll see you later, my boy! Here, you listen here. You come up whenever you want. If you ever get lonely, come up here. Mrs. Travascus makes one out of a pasty. My Christ, you'll love it. Hmm, thanks for that. It's been a while since I had a nice pasty. Right, well, I'll tell you what. That van don't have look familiar. Maybe I recognise it from when I was here before. Alright, better slow down again for the 30 limit. Oh, he's not part of there today, look. You must actually be doing something proactive. I think that's the first time we've come past and he's not there. People are quite ignorant, you know. I've always uh, put my hand up at people when they let me cross the road. These don't seem to care. Oh, there he is, look. Parked up. I tell you what, though, to be fair, it must be a pretty boring job because this is uh, quite a small village. And there doesn't seem to be a great deal going on. Mind you, saying that, if you'd actually spent a bit of time investigating what happened to the house, maybe there might have been a different outcome. Because there's definitely no clearly electrical faults in that house. It wasn't even occupied for two years. What a joke. I tell you what, that looks awful. That looks so messy, I can see that through the dirty windows. 
Look at the state of it. We're going to have to get that cleared out. That is just embarrassing. I don't want people driving past our, uh, our farm thinking that we're, we're untidy like that. Right, let's head on back anyway. I am really excited, you know. I hope we can find this Zeta. That that will just change some things for us. That will probably be our first little bit of luck, I think, since we've been here. Because we certainly haven't had any other luck. Um, all we've done is spend. Okay, let's just pull up here. Shut the engine off, save some fuel. Brilliant. Right, so, I'll just... Uh, Grab the chainsaw out of the boot, I think. And then, um, yeah, we'll head down. We only had a brief look around, really, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to have a little bit of a closer look. We need to sort this out. Look how overgrown it is. I'm going to have to... I mean, I can't keep asking uh, Mr. Travaskis to borrow stuff. We're going to have to pop to the shop at some point. See if we can get a, a strimmer. I mean, a lawnmower, maybe. But it's probably a bit long for a lawnmower. I'm sure we can find a strimmer and just cut some of these bushes and this overgrown grass back because honestly I think this roadway would probably be quite wide actually once this is gone. Now what did we say was up here again? I don't think I actually walked down here. Ah okay so this is just a gate into that field. Yeah. So uh, this goes around to the other gate. Now do you know what? One thing I do need to do is double check the the paperwork they gave me when I signed this over because I assume this is our field I know this was my nan and granddad's field but actually I don't know if it was part of what I inherited um, I am going to have to check that you know it's going to be a long time before we're looking at anything arable anyway definitely when you look at the state of what's here behind us but yeah interesting uh, we are going to have to find out if that is actually ours Anyway, let's make our way down here. So, here it is. Here it is. Definitely. Definitely the sheep barn. I think that tree might have done some damage up there, you know. It actually looks like a couple of trees, but I think that one up there might have done some damage. It looks like a big one, but all being well, we'll go around. The fence is a bit rickety, but as long as these gaps here aren't wide enough for any uh, any of the goats to get out, then you know we could probably get those goats quite soon. It'd be quite nice to have a little bit of company. Um, yeah, let's get rid of these trees. I am excited, you know, definitely. Right, so what are we going to do? So, got the chainsaw out ready. Now, that is the big tree. So I think maybe let's try and clear this small one out of the way first. We need to try and do it so that it doesn't actually fall through the roof because that's just going to be a lot more cost, which we don't particularly want at the minute. So let's get these bits chopped up. We'll just make a way through these. Now, I need to try and cut them small enough that I can move them. I'm not the strongest in the world. Just see if I can... Uh, let's pop around the other side there. See if we can chop that small branch off. Now, I wonder if we could probably, uh, at the end of... At the end of the lane there, once we've cleared up that rubbish, we could probably put a bit of this wood chopped up. Maybe make some money off it so that it is uh, cheap firewood. At least we'd have some sort of income. That would be a good start. And just chop the limbs off the top of this. And then we'll... Um, Hopefully we we're able to lift this. Okay, pop that away. 
let's give it a go. Let's try and move these branches up out of the way over here a minute. If we can actually lift it. So I think we'll just dump these over here. And maybe this. Can I drag that out, do we think, without ruining that other tree? Come on. Yeah, I really need to be careful. We do not want any more damage to this barn. No, that one's alright there for a minute. Let's pile all of this up. Yeah, we can just about lift it. Just pop it here for a moment. Well, this is a heavy piece, this bit. Let's see if we can drag this over here. Just out of the way. Ooh. Good. Right. How are we going to do this? Maybe. If I try and get it somewhere in the middle and just run back really fast, if we're lucky, it might all just fall down. Let's give it a go. How far can I reach? Come on. Let's see what happens. Oh! Okay, wow. We're alive. But that didn't really work. Right, let's just get rid of these bits a minute. We're going to have to rethink what we're doing. Yeah, make sure I don't do them too big. This is a big tree. This is a real big tree. Alright, let's cut that. Right, let's just move all of this. We'll do another little pile of this just next door. I can feel the quality in this though because it's just heavy. It's just I cut these into smaller pieces and it's so much heavier than that last tree. Need to keep an eye on that one as well. It looks like it's going to fall. Right, let's just load all these up mate. Alright, last piece for a minute. So we'll just age that up there on the top, hopefully. Lovely. Right, what are we going to do? Let's drag these branches back out of the way a minute, but what on earth are we going to do? I wonder if I move that, this might fall don't really want it to fall. I want to be able to control it a bit, really. Ah, uh, yeah. Brilliant. Right, let's just pull that over here. Do you know what? I reckon I can probably climb up on those. Ah, oh, brilliant. There is a little bit of damage. I can see it's gone through in a couple of areas, but actually, as a whole, the roof looks pretty good, just a little bit of moss and stuff on it. Now, let's get the chainsaw back out. Can we cut it? So that it falls down. What I don't want to do is for half of this to fall into there. That wouldn't particularly be ideal at all. Now let's just head back down onto these ones here. Oh dear. Okay, not too bad actually, that worked out alright. I reckon if we just trim this down here now, in theory, it'll all come. Right, 
Wow, I just piled it all up. And do you know what? This is too good to be fine with. Look at the size of it. I mean, imagine some of the statues and various ornaments and carvings that can be made out of this. It's absolutely huge. I can do it myself, of course, but th this shouldn't be firewood. I mean, especially this. I can just tell by the weight. It looks like decent quality. I don't know what caused it to fall over. Probably a bit of wind. It certainly doesn't look like the tree is dead. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to do some uh, research, I guess. See if someone will actually buy all of this from us. This might be a good little bit of income to have. Even these bits aren't too bad. Good. Well, that's one less thing. And actually, I'm quite pleased with the roof. Um, it looks good. It, it knocked a few uh, tiles off there, but certainly not leaking. So, let's see if we can get into here now. Because th this is the goal. This is what I want to do. I'm, I want to see this tractor. I'm just hoping. I'm hoping that there is something in there. I mean, I can kind of see through the gap. And it doesn't look very promising. But it still won't open though. Still won't open. I wonder if we can see through here. Well, we can. But there's nothing in there. Right, hang on a minute. It's just empty. See, I knew there was nothing around here. I knew. He was adamant this is where he kept it, but there's nothing here. The good news is, though, we've got somewhere to feed the animals uh, ready to go. We've got somewhere for water. And I did notice earlier on, it has got this gutter in, so if we get any rain, that should top it up with a bit of rainwater, which would be fine for some goats. And there's a little bit of grass for them to graze on, so yeah, you know, we'll probably have to maybe with a strimmer, we'll just uh, attack that nice field we looked at on the right hand side earlier on this morning, uh, just to get a little bit of nice quality grass and just pop some grass in. Once we've done that, we'll uh, head back and get these goats. Uh, we're going to have to pick up a trailer to transport them. They hope, hopefully, uh, we can maybe lease one from the shop or, or borrow one quite cheap. Maybe he'll even let us borrow one himself. But I don't want to keep asking Mr. Javaskis to borrow stuff. I really don't. Now, one thing that's puzzling me, this building's big. Yeah, when we were in there, that's only half of it. There's something over the other side. Right. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's another gate. Couldn't see it before. And there is something in there. I can see it. There's definitely something in there. Alright, let's get this open. Oh, this one looks looser. Oh, I'm excited. Ah. A wheelbarrow and a shovel. Not quite a Z-Tar. 